The pancreas, often called the unsung hero of digestion, works tirelessly behind the scenes and has two very crucial roles for us. It produces dietary juices, called enzymes, that help break down food. It also produces insulin, which helps the body manage and use sugars. Therefore, the pancreas is vital for a lot of our bodily functions. Now, imagine a scenario where this vital organ faces challenges, leading to a condition that demands our awareness, pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas and a critical public health problem. There were more than 6 million cases in 2017, and the global incidence of acute pancreatitis is increasing at 3% per year. It's essential to keep a keen eye on the health of our pancreas and potential symptoms that could indicate problems with it. In this video, we'll talk about the common signs of pancreatitis, the causes or complications of it, and what you can do to support the health of your pancreas. So let's start with the symptoms. There are two types of pancreatitis, acute and chronic. While both manifestations share some symptoms, certain signs are more characteristic of each variation of the disease. Even if some of these symptoms can be triggered by other causes than pancreatitis, don't underestimate them and rather get your pancreas checked. Symptom number one is severe stomach pain. According to research, severe abdominal pain that may spread to your back or chest is the most common symptom of acute pancreatitis. Usually, it is located in the middle left upper part of your abdomen and sometimes confused with spinal pain. Some even describe it as crippling pain. But why does this happen? The pancreas is responsible for secreting digestive enzymes. Pancreatitis triggers inflammation in your pancreas. This inflammation activates the digestive enzymes in your pancreas prematurely before they reach the small intestine, where they are supposed to aid in the digestion of food. This process can lead to auto-digestion of pancreatic tissue, where your pancreas begins to digest its own tissue. The resulting severe pain radiates to the back and worsens after consuming meals, particularly those high in fat. The inflammatory process also irritates surrounding nerves and tissues, contributing to the intensity of the pain. With chronic pancreatitis, the pain may vary in intensity, but it typically doesn't go away completely. It may feel worse when you lie flat, cough, exercise, or eat. Number two, nausea and vomiting. According to the British Medical Journal, nausea and vomiting is seen in 80% of people with acute pancreatitis. Pancreatitis induces nausea and vomiting through a combination of factors. The inflammation of the pancreas irritates the stomach lining, triggering feelings of nausea. Simultaneously, the body's response to the pancreatic inflammation includes the release of substances that make you feel nauseous, and at the same time, your brain gets a signal to make you vomit. Like this, your body aims to expel potentially harmful substances, alleviating the stress on the compromised digestive system. According to research, patients with acute pancreatitis tend to experience vomiting early, severely, and frequently. Number three, swelling and feeling sore in your upper belly. Pancreatitis also leads to swelling and soreness in the upper abdomen due to the inflammation of the pancreas, as documented in scientific literature. The enlarged pancreas, affected by the inflammatory process, causes physical expansion in the abdominal region. This swelling, coupled with irritation of surrounding tissues, contributes to a sensation of soreness. In rare cases, this can be accompanied by fluid buildup in your belly due to leakage of pancreatic secretions into the surrounding area. The upper belly becomes particularly sensitive to touch, and the discomfort is a result of both the direct impact of inflammation on pancreatic tissue and the secondary effects on neighboring structures. Number four, dizziness or lightheadedness. Severe abdominal pain and inflammation associated with pancreatitis can activate the body's stress response, leading to the release of stress hormones such as adrenaline. These hormones can cause blood vessels to dilate reducing overall blood pressure. Additionally, dehydration, which often accompanies pancreatitis due to symptoms like nausea and vomiting, further contributes to lower blood volume and consequently, low blood pressure. The scientific literature calls this systemic inflammatory response syndrome. In turn, this low blood pressure can compromise the normal flow of oxygen and nutrients to vital organs, including the brain, leading to dizziness or lightheadedness. Number five, yellowing of the skin and eyes. Jaundice as a symptom of pancreatitis has been documented in studies, but it is a less common occurrence. Jaundice in pancreatitis is a consequence of the inflammation affecting the bile ducts. The pancreatic inflammation can lead to obstruction or compression of the bile ducts, impairing the normal flow of bile from the liver to the intestines. This results in a buildup of bilirubin, a yellow pigment produced during the breakdown of red blood cells, leading to yellowing of the skin and eyes. 
Jaundice serves as a visible indicator of the impact of pancreatitis on surrounding structures and emphasizes the need for prompt medical attention to address not only pancreatic inflammation, but also its potential complications on the biliary system. Number six, fever and rapid pulse. According to research, 60% of the patients with acute pancreatitis developed fever. It is considered a very common symptom for this condition. This is sometimes accompanied by a fast pulse, sweating and shallow, rapid breathing according to the academic literature. This occurs because the body's immune system recognizes the pancreatic inflammation as a threat. In turn, substances that elevate the body temperature are released, leading to fever. Simultaneously, the release of inflammatory mediators can stimulate the heart to beat faster, resulting in a rapid pulse. The sympathetic nervous system response can cause sweating as the body tries to regulate its temperature. Shallow, rapid breathing may result from the body's attempt to cope with pain or stress triggered by acute pancreatitis. The combination of these symptoms with other manifestations of pancreatitis underscores the systemic impact of the inflammatory condition. Number seven, oily and smelly stools. According to research, oily, smelly stools, known as steatorrhea, can occur in pancreatitis due to the compromised production of digestive enzymes. The inflamed pancreas may struggle to produce sufficient lipase, an enzyme necessary for breaking down fats. As a result, undigested fats pass through the digestive tract, leading to greasy, bulky, and foul-smelling stools that can leave an oily film in the toilet. The stool is light-colored and may even contain oil droplets. Undigested muscle fibers may also be found in the feces. Sometimes, diarrhea might be another indicator and symptom of pancreatitis. Recognizing changes in stool consistency and odor is important in pancreatitis diagnosis. Number eight, loss of appetite and unexplained weight loss. In pancreatitis, severe abdominal pain, nausea, and the inflammatory response can suppress appetite, making it difficult to eat normally. Additionally, the compromised production of digestive enzymes hinders nutrient absorption, which leads to nutritional deficiencies contributing to weight loss. The body may also expend additional energy in response to the inflammatory process, further impacting body weight. So if you recognize an unwanted drop in body weight that is not related to a new nutritional routine, you shouldn't ignore it since weight loss has clearly been associated with pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer in studies. Number nine, indigestion. In academic research, indigestion is documented as a more common symptom in chronic pancreatitis. But according to the fact sheet of Yale University, most people with pancreatitis may experience some form of indigestion. Indigestion can be described as discomfort after eating and may manifest as bloating, a burning sensation, gas, or heartburn. This happens because pancreatitis disrupts the normal digestive process. The inflamed pancreas struggles to produce and release digestive enzymes in sufficient quantities. As a result, the breakdown of food, especially fats, is compromised. Undigested food components may cause discomfort and a feeling of fullness, contributing to indigestion. Additionally, the inflammation can extend to the nearby stomach and intestines, further disrupting the coordinated digestive functions. But what are the causes of pancreatitis? Several factors can lead to acute pancreatitis, including gallstones, heavy alcohol use and smoking, certain medicines, high triglyceride and calcium levels in the blood, injuries from trauma or surgery, obesity, your genetics and more. It's essential to note that each individual's case may vary, and multiple factors can interact to contribute to the development of pancreatitis. Consulting with healthcare professionals is crucial for accurate diagnosis, understanding personal risk factors, and implementing appropriate preventive measures. What are the complications of pancreatitis? Ignoring the symptoms of pancreatitis can lead to further complications like diabetes, kidney failure, chronic pain, weight loss, bile duct blockages, metabolic bone disease, permanent pancreas damage, or pancreatic cancer. Therefore, it is crucial to not underestimate any of the discussed symptoms and seek prompt medical evaluation. Can you reverse pancreatitis? Chronic pancreatitis is a progressive disease, and no physiological treatment is available to reverse its course. However, early diagnosis and management can help slow down the progression of the disease and alleviate symptoms. But you can prevent pancreatitis from becoming chronic. A healthy diet combined with certain lifestyle changes can surely contribute to the well-being of your pancreas. Consider the following points. Adopt a low-fat diet. Your pancreas processes most of the fat you eat. So, the more you eat of it, the harder your pancreas works. High-fat foods also increase your triglyceride levels. 
This boosts the amount of fat in your blood and increases your risk for acute pancreatitis. A low-fat diet helps reduce the strain on the pancreas, as it doesn't have to produce as many digestive enzymes to break down fats. Eat more lean proteins. Choosing lean protein sources like poultry, fish, tofu, and legumes may be easier for the pancreas to handle compared to high-fat meats. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Incorporate a variety of fruits and vegetables into your diet. These foods provide essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that support overall health. Limit processed, fried, and sugary foods. These contain unhealthy trans fats, sugar, sweeteners, additives, and other very bad chemicals that can harm your pancreas. Consider probiotics, including probiotic-rich foods like yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, or kefir in your diet might help to support your gut health, indirectly benefiting your pancreas. Discuss this with your doctor first, though. Stay hydrated. Adequate hydration is crucial for overall health and digestion. Dehydration can exacerbate symptoms and hinder the healing process of your pancreas. Avoid excessive alcohol. Limit or avoid alcohol consumption, as excessive alcohol intake can contribute to pancreatitis. Stop smoking. Smoking is a known risk factor for pancreatitis, so if applicable, give it up. Researchers also have identified certain foods you can eat to protect, detox, and even help heal your pancreas. But please consult with your doctor before you try any of these remedies, since pancreatitis is a very complex condition. First up, we got olive leaf extract. In an animal study, it was found that olive leaf extract can protect against chronic pancreatitis and restore pancreatic functions. Next on the list is garlic. The anti-cancerous potential of garlic has been validated by many preclinical studies using human cancer cells, including those of the pancreas. A study conducted in the San Francisco Bay Area found that pancreatic cancer risk was 54% lower in people who ate larger amounts of garlic compared with those who ate lower amounts. The same anti-cancer effect was shown for milk thistle. You should also consider black tea. In a study, it was concluded that black tea extract helps in regeneration of damaged pancreas and protects pancreatic cells by its antioxidant action. Several studies also associated high levels of the trace mineral selenium with a reduced risk of pancreatic cancer. Foods like chicken, fish, shellfish, and eggs contain high amounts of it. Moreover, there is alpha-lipoic acid, an antioxidant that is made naturally in the body and also found in foods like organ meats or broccoli. In several animal studies, alpha-lipoic acid had protective and healing effects on the pancreas. And then there is N-acetylcysteine, a strong antioxidant found in onions or meat that has shown promising results in the treatment of acute pancreatitis and potentially contributing to reduction in the severity of disease. In conclusion, understanding the symptoms and complications of pancreatitis is crucial for early detection and effective management. If you or someone you know experiences the symptoms discussed in this video, seek immediate medical attention. Remember, this content is informative, but it's no substitute for professional healthcare advice. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and take care of yourselves.